RNG event world is finally coming to an end, which means we have a lot of content to look forward to in tomorrow's update. And thankfully for you guys, I have every single leak that has been released up to this moment. And I'm not gonna lie, some of these leaks did surprise me, so I hope they surprise you too. And as always with leaks like this, we have a good opportunity to make some smart investments. So in today's video, we'll also be talking a little bit about what you guys should be buying in terms of investments. And if you do want any more investment tips or even gameplay tips within Pet Simulator 99, just remember to like the video and subscribe for more. We have a lot to cover, so let's just get straight into what we can expect for tomorrow's update. All right, you guys, so starting off, as you know, we've been in the RNG event world for the past two weeks now. And of course, with event worlds, they are just temporary worlds. So once the event is over, we no longer have access to that world forever. But finally, this week, we are getting a brand new real world. So a permanent world that's going to be in that void hub in world three. And this world is going to be the Kawhi world. I'll have the picture on the screen here. This is the leak from big games themselves. It's all very Kawhi themed with some fan art in the background on the screens as well it's going to be interesting to see what big games cooks up in terms of content for this new world because in terms of leaks we actually haven't gotten like any leak about like what we can actually do in this new world so at the moment it looks like this is just going to be some new areas that we can grind as well as all of the new pets and stat pets and everything else that we get with a new world which actually leads me to our second leak which is all of the new huges that we can expect to see tomorrow I have the picture on the screen here now, but in total, as you can see, there are eight new huges that we're going to be seeing for this new world. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am kind of a fan of a lot of these huges. They are pretty sick in general. In the background of this picture, you can see there is a bulldog on a skateboard, which looks really sick. There are also like four like Hawaii kind of themed huges here, and they're not really like square like the other huges. They're more like they're kind of round squares, so I don't know how to describe that, but they look really cool. And then we have like this little helicopter thing. I don't know. I, I don't know what the general theme of all of these huges are. Now, according to some leakers on Twitter, they're saying that some of these huges are actually active pets. So some of these huges will just be able to be opened from the final egg whenever they're in the active huge rotation. And then on top of that, there should be two of these huges that are included in the forever pack. So not sure which ones are going to be which but either way some pretty cool huges to expect to see in tomorrow's update which leads us to our third leak which is actually probably the closest thing to like content wise for these leaks that we're going to see for tomorrow's update we have this picture which is a supercomputer radio which allows us to access the supercomputer from anywhere anytime and i'm not gonna lie this probably should have been a thing the whole time because this sounds like it's going to be so useful but one important thing that they did say in the caption of this tweet is that in order to get the supercomputer radio, you're going to have to rebirth, which means that we're getting a rebirth in this new Kawhi world. Now, if I head over into world three, you'll see here that we have not had a rebirth yet in world three. So this is going to be very interesting to see. Some people really like rebirths and some people absolutely hate rebirthing. So either way, I'm super happy that we're going to have access to a supercomputer radio that allows us to use this from anywhere so we don't have to come back to this hub or the beginning of each world every single time now moving on to the investment side of leaks that we got for this week we also have this leak from Kopi Cat on twitter saying that the tier 10 enchants are finally coming to the game which means that we are going to have a whole nother level of enchants that we got to level our stuff up to so of course this is going to be very interesting to see as you guys know there are limits to how much enchants uh, are actually effective when you use them so we could potentially be seeing big games change the limit on how much you can use these enchants for grinding and stuff like that for example according to the big games api the threshold for the criticals enchant is 27.2 percent and as you guys can see already the criticals 9 is already doing 26 so if we get a another tier of criticals it's going to be passing the current threshold so it'll be interesting to see if they do update the api and we do get some new thresholds for some new builds that we can make 
Now with this, this does bring the opportunity to potentially invest in some of these tier nine enchants as people are gonna be wanting a ton of these in order to make the new tier tens. Now in particular, people always do need these lucky eggs books. The threshold for lucky eggs is I believe like around 400%. So that means people need at least three of these lucky egg books currently in order to reach that threshold, which is usually why people like these more than the other enchants where you only need like one or two. Now I'm sure people already have thousands and thousands and thousands of enchants saved up. So I'm not sure entirely how many people are gonna be looking to buy these tier 10 books. But if you just have these books ready and you upgrade them right when the update comes out and then go ahead and sell them in the trading plaza, I'm sure you guys can make a pretty penny doing so. Which leads me to my other investment leak, which is the leak that we're actually getting a new exclusive egg in the game tomorrow. Now I'll have the picture on the screen here. It is the exclusive Luchador egg. Now, if you're not sure what Luchador is, I'm pretty sure Luchador just means fight in Spanish and when I hear that word I think of the Spanish like masked wrestlers that usually go by those names so I'm not too sure what we could expect to see for this exclusive egg tomorrow either way what this leak does mean though is that the current exclusive egg the classic egg that is in the shop right now should potentially be leaving now if you remember back to two weeks ago when this classic egg actually came out they did keep the current egg that was in the shop the Spongebob egg in for an additional week so potentially we could be seeing this classic egg also stay in the shop with the luchador egg in it now honestly i don't really see that happening because i don't think people are much of a fan of these classic eggs as you can see they're only selling for about 32.8 million which i'm pretty sure is like 10 million diamonds less than the next cheapest exclusive egg oh look 10 free lucky dice three let me get that real quick um but anyways I just have to warn you guys that it is possible they keep it in just because they did it last week, but I don't see that happening personally, and I'm actually going ahead and buying these exclusive eggs for myself as an investment, hoping that they'll go up like maybe 5 million or more after tomorrow's update. Honestly, buying these things like anywhere under 35 million is pretty much a safe bet since the next cheapest egg is, I believe, 42 million. Even if people aren't a huge fan of this exclusive egg, the fact that you can get a titanic from it is always going to be a value to people so either way i think these are going to go up with time and i think they should be a very sound investment right now and i don't think that many people actually know about the leaked exclusive egg coming tomorrow so that is even better for us we can make some good investments and hopefully make a ton of diamonds for tomorrow but besides that that is pretty much it you guys let me know what you guys think about this update coming tomorrow i'm not really sure how big games can and satisfy the community after this week's update because they were giving out so many huges and so many titanics for absolutely free and that is not like pick games at all and they obviously can't do that every single update so so we're gonna have to see what big games has in store to try to satisfy the community and keep them engaged with the game i honestly might make a whole video on the effects of this rng event world and how many huges were actually added to the game because it was pretty ridiculous either way though thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out